Hi everyone, welcome. Today I will be giving a tutorial on how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. and I will be going over the essential functions needed to create a short video project. In this tutorial, I will be going over the interface, how to import media, how to edit in the timeline, how to create titles, how to adjust audio, and how to export the final project. So to begin, when you first open the software, it'll take you to this home screen. Or you can click new project to the left here. Then you can name the project at the top. I'm going to name this project movie. And then if I click browse, I can determine where the project will be saved. So I've created a separate folder for this project. I'm gonna select that folder to save it in click OK, and this will bring us to the main interface. So in the main interface, there are four different sections. At the bottom left here, we have the media library. This is where you will be importing video and audio to pull from later. In the top left corner is the media preview section. This is where you'll be able to preview and trim video clips and audio from the library. And this is where you will then drag those into the timeline at the bottom right here. In the timeline, you will be able to edit and rearrange clips. And then in the top right, then the canvas section is where you'll be able to preview your project as a whole. So to begin, we are going to import some media. And there are a few ways to do this. You can either go up to File, Import. You can click Control-I on the keyboard. Or you can double click Import Media to Start, which will pull up your Finder or your File Explorer. And then proceed to choose media you would like to import. So I'm going to choose three clips here, open. That is going to import the clips into the library. From here, I can double click on a clip to bring it up to the preview. And then in this preview section, I can use this blue cursor to scroll through the video. So I'm going to trim this clip by dragging the cursor to where I want the video to start. Then I'm going to go over to this mark in icon, click that. You can also press I on the keyboard. Then I'm going to drag the blue cursor to where I want the clip to end. And then to the right of mark in is mark out. I'm going to click that. That'll mark the out section of the clip. I can also just press O on the keyboard. And then to drag this into the timeline, I'm just going to click on the clip, click and hold and drag it into that bottom right section. Now that I've dragged that into the bottom right section, I've started the project. And I'm going to do the same with a couple other clips just to add some more media that we can edit. So again, I'm scrolling to where I want the clip to start. I'm hitting this mark in, dragging to where I want the clip to end, hitting mark out. If I wanted to drag the video only, I'd click and drag this icon here saying drag video only. And if I wanted to click and drag the audio only, I'd click and drag this icon here into the timeline. When you're in the timeline, you'll notice that these top layers are where the video clips are going to be. And then the bottom layers are where the audio is going to be. 
You can zoom in and out by clicking and dragging these circles at the bottom scroll bar. And then you can scroll left to right in the timeline by just clicking and dragging the bar itself. Let's say I no longer want this clip and this audio in the timeline. If I click and drag the cursor over them, it'll highlight them. And then I can press backspace on my keyboard and delete that media. So I'm going to go back up to the preview. I'm going to click and drag both audio and video together into the timeline. And let's say I wanted to trim this clip. It's a little bit too long. I want it to match the length of this first clip here. There are a couple ways I can trim in the timeline. One of them is to scroll over the end of the clip until you see this red arrow. Click and drag to the desired length. And that will shorten the video without speeding it up or slowing it down. Another way to trim is by going over to this toolbar, selecting the razor tool, and then I can go into the timeline and cut clips and audio wherever the cursor is. I have to go back now and reselect the selection tool in order to delete the excess clips. And then I'm going to zoom in just so I can see these clips a bit better. Let's say I wanted this clip to actually go after the second clip. As long as I'm in the selection tool, I can click and drag this clip up and over and move them around like so. Now that I have my clips arranged the way I want them to be, I'm going to create a title by going up to File, New, Legacy Title. I'm going to name the title here, click OK, and that'll bring me to this window. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. And then I'm going to create a text box by left clicking on the image. I'm going to select a title style, go back to the text box and type in the text I would like. In order to edit the text, you'll want to highlight the text and then you can go over here to the right and change things such as the font size, the font color, and other properties. Once I have it how I would like, I'll just click exit at the top right, the close. And then down in the media library, I can then drag and drop the title into the timeline. And I can adjust it similarly to video and audio, where I can make it longer, make it shorter, drag and drop it where I want it, and so on. So now when we scroll through this project, You'll see the title appear, disappear. Transitions are effects you can add to your video, which will change how one clip goes onto the next clip. So here we have two clips just cutting right into each other. But if I wanted to make that more interesting, I could go over to the media library panel here, click effects. Go to Video Transitions, and here there are a number of different transitions you can apply. I'm going to go into Wipe, and then I'm just going to click and drag this one that says Barn Doors in between 
the two clips here. So now when I scroll through these clips, you'll notice that transition between them is a bit more interesting and engaging. All right. So now that I have my clips arranged how I would like them, I have a title here at the beginning, an interesting transition between the two clips, and then I've set it so that the audio fades out at the end. I'm going to call this finished and get ready to export. So there are a couple of ways to export. The first thing you need to do is select all the media you want exported. And you can do that by making sure you're in the selection tool, clicking and dragging to highlight all the media. Or you can go over to this toolbar, hit the track select forward, and then click at the beginning of your project and that will select everything to the right of your cursor. Once you have everything selected, you'll wanna go up to file And then down to export, export media. That'll bring you to the export settings window. Once you're in the export settings window, first thing I'm going to do is check the format. Make sure it's an H.264. This means I'll be exporting the video as an MP4 file. Then I'm going to go to output name. I'm going to click that. I want to make sure that I'm saving to the folder that I created earlier. I'm going to change the name to movie. Hit save. I'm going to make sure that both video and audio are checked off right here. To make sure that both the video and audio are being exported. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to click export. And then it'll show you the estimated time remaining. Once that's done exporting, I can open up File Explorer. I can go into my folder and pull up the movie.